So, gonna tell you the story about how I got into traveling. My first trip. Um, I actually got some blackberries. Hmm. So, I always kind of wanted to travel to Europe. I knew I didn't want to be 40 years old wishing I'd gone to Europe. I wanted to see something of the world. But it wasn't until I was in college and I, uh, I um, had this, Calif I was living in California, in Silicon Valley, and I had this California history class called about Sir Francis Drake and where he might have sailed into in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area. And it included a field trip. Uh, the field trip was to see some of the areas where he might have uh, gone. So while I was there, I met these students, fellow students, who um, is a nice little park near where I live. So I met these students who had been to Europe recently and they were telling me about it and I was asking them questions. And so I decided after I spoke to them, I thought, well, if not now, then when, you know? So I uh, decided I'm gonna go to Europe. So I started saving up some money for my job and I started, uh, I bought an atlas at the flea market, at a flea market, and I started telling everybody, I'm going to go to Europe. I want to go see Nussfenstein's castle. That's the castle that Cinderella is modeled after from Disney. Nice little... trail here for a woodpecker so anyways I was telling everybody that I uh, I want to go to Nussfenstein this castle in Bavaria Germany and so I must have got my mom interested because she uh, decided she wanted to go see her pen pal in Belgium I didn't even know my mom had a pen pal at that point. And so she was going to go to visit her pen pal in Belgium and go to Paris, which is something she always wanted to do. And back in those days, this is about 1996, here's a nice little river trail for a this little river. Found myself a bench, so I'll just sit here and tell some more. Uh, anyways, my mom decided she was going to go visit her uh, pen pal. And this was 96. None of us had the internet yet. I knew of the internet because I discovered it in 95, but I didn't get it until 97. And. Um, I discovered it because of an advertisement uh, and I started seeing dot com everywhere and stuff so anyways um, she was gonna go visit her pen pal in those days she had to use a fax machine to contact her because long distance was very expensive uh, and she couldn't get a hold of her pen pal and my mom didn't want to go to Europe by herself so she asked me you want to go with me and I was like sure she uh, she even offered to pay, and I was like, yeah, okay. So then she was able to get a hold of her pen pal. And so my mom and I went there and we visited her in, in Brussels, Belgium. And at that time, I had never really stayed up past midnight except for like New Year's Eve. And my mom said, oh, no, we should stay up the whole flight. And then we could make it easier to sleep once we get there. Big mistake. 
I always try to sleep on the plane even if it's just 20 minutes because to stay up that, that long that's just too hard on the body but you learn and you, you live and learn so we got there and I was jet lagged it was daytime but my body felt like night and they had a uh, flower festival we went into the town in the plaza and saw the flowers and I was I was jet lagged tired culture shock because you know I've been to New York when I was five you know New York City I've been to LA I've been to you know I lived in the Bay Area but nothing I'd ever been to ever was anything like Europe and it didn't really prepare me for what I was to see and the pen pal showed us around Belgium and then my mom and I went on the train to Paris, spent a week in Paris. Uh, it, it was still all so new to me and culture shock. And then my mom said, oh we got a few extra days, you want to go anywhere? I was like, yeah I want to go to London. Because I kind of grew up with London, England and all that part of our culture, you know, Charles Dickens and all that. And I was like, oh, I definitely want to see London. So, I went to London for two, maybe three days. And then got back to Belgium. I was ready to go home. I was, I was in, I was having a hard time adjusting. And I, I missed America at that time and stuff. But it was only after some time, after I, I talked to a neighbor who had gone to Europe, and we started talking, then I started thinking, yeah, and I started, started getting nostalgia about it. And then when I went back the following year to Neuschwanstein, to Germany, as soon as I, I landed, and we were taking the, the shuttle into town, uh, no, wait, it was a bus. We're taking the bus because it was part of a tour. We're going to town, and I saw the BMW headquarters, which looked like a giant car cylinder. And I started looking around thinking, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, that trip is where I got the travel bug. I've had it ever since. And I just, I just love to travel. I'm passionate about it. But it really was the second trip that really got me into traveling, which is a story for another day.